Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Leland Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you to fly tying night tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up this cool pattern. This is what we call the MSU attractor pattern. This is a great pattern to fish during a caddis hatch or for as a small hopper on small streams or even rivers. Um, it's going to be a great pattern to bring fish to net. So with that, we want to make sure and invite you, if you find any value in this video, to like the video, leave us a comment, and to make sure and subscribe and hit the bell to receive future notifications. So with that, we're going to introduce you to a new hook. This is the Moonlit Tagata ML102. We're tying this in a size 14. We tie it in a size 12 or a size 16 as well. So. Tie this up in your favorite size. We'll go ahead and put the hook in the vise. This new hook is a standard forged dry fly hook, so it's got a lot of strength to it. For our thread, we're going to be using a Pell Olive Semperfly Classic Wax. I'm just going to start this roughly about two thirds of the way up the hook shank. Going to create a nice smooth underbody and wrap this back to the bend of this hook. Trim that out. I've taken some olive colored two millimeter foam, cut a nice little point. If you look at this, this foam is roughly about the gape width of the hook gape there. I'm just going to put this in and tie this in at the back side there. And secure that down nice and good. Make sure it doesn't rotate on me. For the body on this, I'm using Micro Fritz Gelt gel core. I'm using the golden olive on this one. I like the lighter olive color on it. And I'm going to tie that in right there at the front of where my foam was finished tying off. I'm just going to secure that down. I am going to wrap back try and smooth this out just a little bit create a little bulk to this body now I'm just gonna half hitch here set that off to the side resituate my hook just a little bit Now I'm just going to wrap this micro fritz. Again, that's just roughly going to be about two thirds of the hook shank. Secure that down. I am going to leave that. I'm going to push it back. Now I'm going to take my foam, pull it over the top, secure it down, wrap underneath, go back up to the front, right behind the hook eye. You can see when I pull that back, I've got a nice clean. I can put a couple wraps right there just to help keep that clean there. 
Now I'm just gonna secure that down, tighten it in. For my legs, I am using Semperfly's barred rubber legs. I'm going to even out the back side of these legs. Lay them on my side, a loose wrap, two wraps, three wraps. I'm going to kind of cinch it down just a little bit. Now I'm going to pull them to the sides where I want them. Pull it back. Wrap this up towards the eye there. Want to make sure I get those even on the sides. Okay. <clears throat> For my wing on this fly, where did it go? just had it there it is I knocked it over I'm using some X caddis bleached X caddis deer hair and I'm just gonna take a small clump I don't want a whole lot and I'll trim that out So here I've got a nice small clump of deer hair. I'm just gonna pull some under fur out of this, any short fibers, just kind of thin it out just a little bit. So I've got my deer hair. I'm gonna put that in my stacker here. Give that a good couple taps. There you can see I've got even tips. Take and pull that. I am going to kind of measure this out so that it goes just past the back end of the body. I'm just going to take and trim those hairs up so that they're nice and flush. Now I'm going to lay that over the top. And just secure those in. Like so. I'm going to then take my micro fritz again and wrap that over that area there. Now I'm just going to secure that micro fritz with a couple wraps. I always lock it in front after I've captured it. Now I'll trim that out. I'm going to do a, criss, a cross wrap over the top. Now I can pull my foam rearward. I don't want to pull too tight right off. Two wraps. Now I'm just going to kind of cinch that down. And take my whip finisher. Just 
trim that out. Now I'm going to take and trim out this foam. I always keep my spare pieces in case I want to use it for like a indicator of some kind on another fly or anything else. Sometimes they come in handy. Now I'm just going to create somewhat of a pointed edge on that, little rounded, just like that. That's going to help kind of force my hair down. Take a little bit of head cement here. And put that on there. That's just going to help secure that knot, make it a little bit more durable. I'm going to take these legs and I'll pull this leg back. I want it to be the same length as the rear leg. So I just pull it back. I don't stretch it because if you stretch it, it's going to spring back. And it looks like I've got a hair that's kind of not wanting to cooperate. I'll trim that out. And here you have the MSU attractor. This is going to be a great pattern fishing any of your caddis hatches, change the colors, or small hopper imitations. It'll work great for that. Make sure and use it as a drop or a dry fly indicator like a hopper dropper type setup so again if you find any value in this video please do us a favor we'd appreciate it a lot if you liked the video left us a comment hit subscribe and the bell to receive future notifications so we appreciate your time this evening you have a wonderful evening and we'll see you next time